Hey guys, good morning. It's Rob Muffet. Guys, today we're going to talk about a, uh, a diving helmet I got on eBay. Um, for years, I've been since I was a little kid, I've always been fascinated, um, not just by snorkeling and, and diving and scuba, but but by actually getting on a hard hat, just like those 20,000 leagues under the sea, you know, those movies from Jules Verne's back in the 60s, they were pretty popular. And uh, they kind of fascinated me. And I always thought it would be cool to walk around on the bottom of the ocean. And uh, they had a dive helmet you could buy back in the 70s for $49. Of course, the pump was extra and all that. But $49 was amazing. I never did buy one. And over the years, I'd occasionally see them on eBay. And they were fairly inexpensive. But lately, you hardly ever see them. And when you do, they're, they're discolored and from being in the sun. But I saw one a few well, weeks ago. And it was about a hundred bucks, but about one twenty-five was shipping. It was a lot of money, but it was up in Maine, and it hadn't gotten a lot of yellowing, so it's still pretty clear. And it had the literature in the box with it, and even the hose. So I said, "Let me take a chance." I bid on it, and I got it. And it's pretty cool. I'm going to be diving with it, and I'm, uh, I've got to get a lot of extra stuff. But let me show you some more about it. It's the Aqua Bell. It was made back in the '70s, early '70s, and you could use a manual pump. Or you could use an electric pump or gasoline-powered pump that was uh, oilless, and you would go to 35 feet maximum. the The helmet was made out of uh, something called propionate plastic. I've never heard of that particular one. The brand name was Tenite. Um, the the ballast container, the the yellow part that you had to ballast, is uh, polyethylene, just the same material as you use with your kayaks and it had a PVC air hose and that was it. It was a very simple device and I am going to have to purchase an oilless compressor and some ballast, some lead weights because you can't just fill it up with sand or rocks unless you've got iron ore in your neighborhood. <laughs> you have to use something pretty heavy and I also want to get a filter to add to the airline and I've got to take the part, the pump apart and make sure it's clean and, and do a lot of extra stuff that I don't think they were doing when they were buying these back in the 70s. But I want to be careful. And even the air hose, they're kind of expensive. Um, but I, I've read online some people who work for a living with the, uh, the hookahs and they, they uh, clean the bottom of the boats. They do things without having to spend thousands of dollars on the dive gear. So I'm just going a few feet under the water in the pool and at the ocean. Not going to be diving down very far, but I want to be able to walk around on the bottom of the ocean. And I think I'm going to be able to do this with this helmet. It's going to be fun, and uh, hopefully you guys will watch and come along. I'll be getting the compressor and the weights and the hose pretty soon, and the filter. And I'll be putting them together, and I'll show you how that works, and the early experiments in the pool before we take it out. Guys, hope you like this little video, and uh, you all come back and, and watch more. And don't forget, it's because you guys uh, subscribing to my videos. I actually get a few pennies now and then from eBay, or eBay, for YouTube. It a little bit adds up every day, uh, and uh, I'm able to buy some crazy stuff like this and have some fun with it and see what happens, and you guys get to come along. I really appreciate it. It's, it's because you guys I'm buying and doing this stuff. <laughs> All right, you guys. Um, thanks again for watching, and you all come back again real soon.